know, so when, when, so do you, you do that to yourself? Like, Hey, I'm going to challenge myself. That's well said, make it a challenge, make it fun have an attitude. Hey, let me, let me say something to this person. Yeah. You know, um, I, 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 I don't know. I think I shared, we went to universal studios. My, my daughter who not only works for Apple, but she works for universal studios. She does the animal show there occasionally. And we got to see her. And after we were done with universal studios, we got on the shuttle bus. They have a free shuttle bus that takes you to the hotels. So we're on the hotel bus and uh, you guys, if you know me, you know this is what they were playing the music from Queen on the bus, something, and it was really good. So I started singing it, and everybody would, and then, and then everybody else on the bus started singing it. You know, it was so funny, uh, <laughs> and everybody. We got off the bus, got to the, everybody's smiling, everybody's clapping, and everything. You know, I wouldn't have done that when I was seventeen years old. Okay. <laughs> It takes a long time to develop where you, it's called uh, IDGASL. I don't give a shit land. It's where you get to a happy place. Sorry, ladies. Uh, it's where you just get to a place where you know you're a good person, you know you're hardworking, you know you're honest, and you're allowed to have fun on the way to the bank. And when you get to that, that it took me a long time to get there, a real long time. Uh, is that what we're talking about? Am I on target here? Bonnie and Chantel. Yes. Yes, oh. definitely. I think you guys were talking about how to get comfortable, right, with um, talking to people over the phone. I'm sorry, I missed the first few, but what I was thinking was how we've gotten better with how we articulate our words and how we speak to clients or prospects. One, it's always the practice. It's talking to people every single day. But two, the other thing is we record ourselves. So we record ourselves with our calls, the recorded calls, and we listen to them. So we backtrack, we listen to, oh gosh, I wish I would have said that. So I, we take notes with the way we speak and also the videos that we do. Jesus, like the videos that I've made five years back on my YouTube, I look at those and I think, oh my God, I sound terrible. But the more you do it, the better you're going to sound and the more comfortable you will be when speaking to others. So I think, you know, recording yourself, and doing videos is another great way to feel more confidence uh, in the way you speak with people, even if you just make a video of yourself or, or practice in the mirror or, you know, I think these are great ways to just become better in your communication. Better in your community and raise your level of confidence, not to be a braggart, um, you know, uh, or, or to intimidate people. <laughs> but just, I think people are very attracted to confidence. But there's a line. There's a line where confidence maybe sounds like bragging or confidence sounds officious or something. I think there's a, there's a delicate line that you have to work. But I think it's a, 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 tell me if I'm right or wrong here. I think a person who acts confident is a very, is a very attractive person. And isn't that what we want to do to our, isn't that what we want to do to our prospects? Make, attract them? Have that, uh, what is that word, all the rapport? Don't we want to have that rapport, that familiarity with people? You, you know, I just, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, you're on, Audrey. I, I, I want to use an example of where I think, and this happened to me the other day, 